What we gonna have? A ring? Oh yeah, baby. Treasure Charger here and welcome to my channel. We're gonna get out behind the old school today and do some digging. It's too dry to dig on any other permissions. This old field, it won't hurt it. So, uh, been finding a lot of silver here lately. A lot of old wheat pennies. Still some areas I haven't hit. Thank you for joining me. Let's get to hunting. Hey guys, check it out. Got a deep penny signal. Chipped it out of this old dry ground. We're gonna have the old key. This is a broken skeleton key, I imagine. Don't think it's a winder key, because the end of it's solid there. Well, anyway, that's cool. Awesome. It's a shame it's broken, but uh, what a cool relic to find at the old school. We'll keep hunting. All right, guys, humming right along here. Another deep high tone, another weedy, 1955. Can't really tell if it's got a mint mark or not. It may have, looks like something down there. Anyway, another good sign, we'll keep hunting. Alrighty guys, had a nice little high tone down in this uh, dry dirt. We've got our bottle out, cause I think we've got silver. I haven't pulled it out and looked at it yet. Absolutely, gonna be a rosy, which is great. 1960, awesome. Another piece of silver out of the old schoolyard. It's sure dry. Pennies and silver are ringing up about the same, so I'm digging a lot of pennies and glad to see that silver dime. We're gonna keep going. All right, guys, we got the bottle out again. I see a silver edge, just flipped it out. It was another high tone. I think we're gonna have another one. Looks like probably a rosy. Yep, this one's bent up. Check that out. The old mower must have got that one. That's okay. Whacked it. Absolutely. Let's see if we get a date here. 1964. Just old enough. Awesome. Two silvers. Real quick here. Alright guys, real nice high tone. You can see the discoloration. Let's see what we're gonna get. Oh, just gonna be a daggone penny. Crap. Two pennies actually, look at that. Or a penny and a dime. Yep, penny and a dime stuck together. Yep, memorial and a clad dime. Oh well, we'll keep hunting. All right, y'all, happened upon another little high tone. Got a wheat penny this time. 1950, looks like Denver. Okay, we're gonna keep a hunting. Guys, I was getting a real deep, faint high tone. Got some iron in there too, but enough of a chirp. Ends up being an old wheat penny. And man, that thing is old, red, and smooth. I doubt if we're going to get any info off of that. But uh, anyway, another old coin, and we're going to keep up the hunt. All right, y'all, we're humming right along here. Had another little high tone, 2223. Uh, figured it might be a bottle cap, but it's a wheat penny. Sometimes they bring up that way on the Knox 800. 1956, looks like Denver, probably. Anyway, another old coin. We're going to keep going. All right, y'all, got the bottle out. Just had a deep 24.25. Ends up not being a penny, and I think it's gonna be a silver dime. Rosie, of course. Yeah, I guarantee you that's silver. 1964, baby. Boomski. All right, we're adding to our silver total here. Boy, they're still out here, and they ring up 
at what a memorial penny does so i'm digging them all awesome we're gonna keep going all right guys just had a real nice high tone up in the uh, lower 30s a little deeper too come on baby a little discoloration what the heck is that is that gonna be a little silver ring sure looks like it doesn't it holy cow I don't know well that's all that's in there let's take a look at it Boy, it sure looks like it, doesn't it? Yeah, I see some markings in there. Silver. Maybe sterling. Shoot, I don't know. Let me get the magnifier out. Get the spray bottle. We'll clean this up, and I'll bring you right back in. Okay, guys, it says silver filled. So that kind of sucks, and I noticed it because I can see a little uh, collar coming through there on one side, but still a pretty cool find. That's going to be an old ring and a kid's ring, uh, so pretty sweet. Never found one like that, but uh, add another ring to the collection, and we're going to keep hunting. Right, guys i've chipped away a lot <laughs> a lot of dirt down deep here i was getting a high tone and it wouldn't even give me a vdi so i'm kind of digging it by the the tone of the beep yep clad dime deep clad dime i knew something was down there okay we're gonna keep going all right guys just had a another high tone that I didn't get a VDI number on it was deep almost didn't dig it finally decided to dig it and I see a silver edge I think yep another rosy awesome 1964 another one just old enough or new enough however you want to look at it nice toned up rosy another silver on the day Wow this place is so awesome. I love it. We're having a great day. Gotta love stacking silver. Boomski! Alright y'all, had a real solid 12-13. Figured we'd try to see if we could dig a nickel. Or if we're going to get stuck with a pull tab or something. <laughs> or a gold ring. No, <laughs> it's a pull tab. Had me fooled for a minute. Kind of looked like a gold ring there. Nice. We'll keep hunting. All right, y'all. Just had another deep high tone. It's going to be some solid copper wire. It's cash money right there. We'll take it. Be glad to have it. Keep hunting. All right, guys, another hot tone here. What are we going to have? A ring? Oh, yeah, baby. <laughs> Silver ring, too, baby, yes. Woo! <laughs> All right. Boy, that's sweet. Let's take a look at this. See if we can find any markings on him. Is 
Sterling. Absolutely right there. Gonna have some kind of a stone. Not sure if that's a black stone or what, but sweet. That's two rings on the day. Gotta like that. Beautiful. Love it. Boomski. Alright guys, just flipped the plug on a uh, another high tone. About the same as the pennies have been going, but I see a little silver edge around here. Yep, another rosy. Alright. Let's see what year this is. 1946. Boy, the old back of him's toned up right there. Beautiful. Another silver. I love it. Boomski. All right, guys. Had another high tone. Another old coin. Got the wheat scent. 1946 Philadelphia. I think that's the one they may have made a, a billion of. <laughs> They're everywhere. Alrighty, we'll keep hunting. Alright guys, had a nice high tone. I think we're going to have our first old relic of this hunt. An old debuckle here. Absolutely. Greened up a little bit for us. That's pretty sweet. We'll add that to the buckle collection and keep hunting guys i was getting a 23 signal which is usually a bottle cap or a weedy it was a little deeper dug a pretty big plug and flipped it over brush the dirt aside and check it out we got us a merc <laughs> oh cool Let's see if we got a mint mark yep it's a denver 1943 out of Denver. Another silver on the day. Boom ski to that. We're happy. We're going to keep hunting for a while. All right, guys. Got us another nice high tone. Here I'll bring you in. See if we can. Catch something good down here. Oh, looks like it's probably going to be a clad or a penny. Yep, memorial. Dang it. All right, guys, got a high tone. Flip the plug. Already got a uh, comb there. Some kid lost here at the high or at the uh, elementary school. Yep, looks like we're going to have a small scent memorial. Well, that's going to probably do it for this video. Thanks for joining me. I'm going to show the pictures of all the finds today here in just a second. Please subscribe if you haven't and hit the like button. Appreciate you watching and come on back. Hope to see you back on the channel.